Does this look like a new player? No. How long did we play for? Four hours. 100k. No one attacked us. And we learned. I will show you a safe and reliable way to make a lot of gold in Sea of Thieves without spending a single penny and without any risks, even if it's your first day playing. I've optimized it specially for players starting in Sea of Thieves to help you build a strong foundation while keeping it relevant to veterans and all skills. Although it may not be the fastest method that's intentional, with a strong foundation you'll become a well-rounded pirate ready to take on anything that comes your way. I didn't use the word fastest in the title or thumbnail because I wanted to emphasize that this guide is about helping you understand the map, island locations, sailing mechanics and everything you need to start your first day of sailing while getting paid for it. So you're getting paid to learn. And the best part is, the more you level up, the easier it gets. The method I'll be showing you is split into three phases, which you can complete in one go, taking about four hours total, or you can split it into three different sessions, all in the form of chapters, depending on your available time. This helps you earn a decent amount of gold and allows you to become an emissary, which multiplies and adds a bonus to your treasure. Although becoming an emissary has a higher risk, it's completely optional. Knowing which routes to avoid can reduce the chances of getting attacked and staying low key. Even though danger is always present, this method helps you stay less vulnerable. For this guide, we created a brand new character and performed everything live, timing exactly how long it takes and showing you hands-on practice. We'll cover what to do if you get attacked and how to achieve your goals in a stress-free way. This is a very efficient way to make riches while learning other valuable information that even some veterans miss out on. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax and enjoy. He's still on his birthday clothes. So this guy has only 10,000. Forget the ancient coins. I used to get these when I had this as my main character. You should, when you start, have five doubloons and 10,000 gold, all right? When you start at zero, you can buy quests for free. And that's very important. So how much did we buy? Six cargo runs, voyages, one, two, three, four, five, five. And here's six. Forget about animals. Do not touch animals. I managed to buy six now. I don't know if you can always buy six, but I managed to buy six. First, we're gonna vote on this cargo one. And look. In your trader mag, guns grave three. I'm gonna put these here. Bottles break if you jump and if you get damage. We took them all. Now there's no voyage here anymore. We are going to vote for another one. Where is it gonna send me? Three paces east outpost. Three paces east is right here. We're gonna go southeast. But also we're gonna check where does this one want to go. A wild treasure store. It says 7 a.m. on the 18th. This one. If you look at your clock, 17th is five days Sea of Thieves. A day is like how much? Around half an hour? 24 minutes or something. So there's so much time. This became way easier. There's so much time. Now time for profit. Right now, the most important thing, let's say you just started. Like we're pretending we just started playing Sea of Thieves. Of course, you won't be sailing like this if you just started. You will learn how to angle sails and do all these good things. Right? This guy right here. Good thing we have wind. Oh, look at that. Someone doing Legend of the Veil. But hey, I'm new. I just started. So I'm going to mind my own business. These are trails, whoever doesn't know, these are the trails where the wind is heading. You see where the wind is heading? You can see it like this, north. You just, this is the angling sails. You just like, there's no bellow now, which is full sail. This, you angle sails now. Uh, there's an island heading towards me. Make sure you don't crash into islands, it might break the bottles. You can raise sails to slow down. Sometimes if you're going straight too fast, you can use harpoons to turn. So we just bought these from the merchant. The reason why I bought a bunch at level 1 or 0 basically, which is right now you can tell, level 1 merchant, is because before you rank up, all quests are free. They're smaller quests, but they're free. So why spending money in the beginning, right? So here, you can raise sails, but what I would do is just anchor because... It's kind of easier, we're moving fast. Okay, if you anchor turn, it's like pulling a handbrake in a car. You know, do not jump with these. These, if you jump, they will break. You see, there are no cracks. If you jump, you hear that. The more you jump, the more they crack. So do not jump while holding these. You can jump in the water, but do not jump on the ground. We're gonna sell them. Crate of rum bottles. We sold one. Wait. 
We bought it for free. We made 700 gold per crate. Remember, we bought it for free. Zero. Four levels. We made 1,000. So we did only... So each one is giving us 700, basically. The 3,000, like Peaceable said, is for a daily deed. So every day you sell this, you're going to get an extra uh, 3,000, right? Level 6. Where do you see the daily deeds? I'll show you right now. Event step. Okay. There's trials, too. Daily deeds. Now, I do have a voyage, right? We're going to go to three paces east. If you are new, you see that? Stay away from it. There are ships that appear from there. We don't want to deal with them now. Okay, now we sold the first three crates. We are currently... We are aiming for level 15. Did you explain why I started the merchant rep? Because, here's the thing. The best way in the beginning for you as a character, it's to not park and stay in places. Because if your ship is sitting in a place, it could become a target. Someone could sneak up on you. If you are moving, you are always on the ship. It's harder for someone to come to you. If you do Order of Souls, which is fighting skeletons, it's really cool and nice. You are parked on an island, right? You are not on your ship. As a new player, you don't have the, the, the mental capacity to be brand new to this island. Everything's foreign to you. While having a piece of your mind wondering, is anyone on my ship? Gold order is the same. You have to be on the island, looking at the map, looking at, you know, X marks a spot and trying to find it. You are leaving your ship vulnerable for a very long time. That's why cargo runs for merchant is the best thing to do in the beginning. Do that until you reach level 15. Then, buckle up, it gets easier, not harder. Then it gets easier. And I'll show you why. As soon as we reach level 15, we're already level 6. So we are getting the second batch from here. Anchor. And once you anchor, make sure these harpoons, test your harpoon after you anchor. Can reach this because if you get things like cloth you cannot jump in the water with them if cloth gets wet it goes bad it loses its value after you anchor away sails there's something you want to do look at me jumping swimming right that's naturally what a pirate would do to reach the sea post however i'll teach you something that you should learn on day one it's one of the most important things. Now, when I show you this, I'm going to show it fast. But if you type exclamation mark sword in the chat, you'll know exactly how it's done. Which is this. Sword lunge. Sword lunge is very useful. If this is on YouTube, you can see it on the top right corner there, I think. There. More bottles. Put them here. Remember when we measured the harpoon? It hit this post here. So we have more bottles. Oh, water. Kraken's fall. One more. Now, do not sword lunge from here. Because if I sword lunge from here, I'll hit the bottles and they will drop in quality. Sword lunge from here. Jump. Go back to the ship. Now, Garpoon. Everything's on the ship. Alright. Now, we've done bottles before. Bottles all just like real life. Make sure they don't it damaged plants require water typical right what you can do is put this water on it and it's on the floor every time you want to water it just splash it you will be able to tell when this edge this plant on the edge and this one gonna start looking less green you just go like this now they said we have to go to kraken's fall right here islands are kind of harder to know where the person is uh you can probably google like where is the npc at kraken's fall or something every faction has a commendation to sail while having the fire sail 10 nautical miles on a merchant alliance business so do not sail with an empty table optimize your time vote the cargo run that we bought but we're going now to kraken's fall to sell these you see that uh, gold that i got that's probably for visiting an island or sailing mileage with a merchant voyage if you're a new player be a bit unlucky to get a huge island like this with this person you know here let's go look how happy she is see gilded merchant let's go commendations merchant rum runner 
Because we sold a lot of rum bottles. See? Now we leveled up twice because when you unlock an accommodation, you also get to. Every time I'm parking in a way where the harpoon is aiming at the island. Crook's Hollow. All right. Well, the Crook's Hollow is easy. It's right here. Now, Crook's Hollow, be careful. The NPC is right here. However, there's a skeleton uh, somewhere up here that can shoot straight at you. So you probably want to approach it from the north or another. Do not set sail unless you have a voyage going. So you can make the best out of your time. Plunder Outpost. What did you learn now? You get to know islands. Which islands have skeletons or not? Even if it hits you and you, you break something, it's not the end of the world. You can just vote for another one. You will learn the, the range of these cannons and stuff. Now we're gonna go to Plunder Outpost down here. Because that's where it's telling us. Tanya! Tanya is a female name, which means tavern, the bar lady. That's where you get these three crates in the name of Tanya. If it said T, like uh, letter T, but it was a male, it would be tools shop. This is Plunder Outpost. The galleon is still there. Some players are really nice. If you want to go there and talk to them, you can do that. But let's say you don't want. You want to play it safe. We bought so many uh, voyages, right? We have one left. It's easy. Cancel. And vote for a new one. Now, they still sent us to Plunder Outpost. We are bound to go to that ship. <laughs> Sometimes they wait for you at the outpost. You see this galleon sailing north? They can launch someone with a cannon to the island and they can wait for you there. It looks like they're heading towards me. It's fine. Yeah, see how the anchor stopped? You don't need to worry about them. Anchor stopping on a galleon is a big sign of new players that have no idea what they're doing. You see that? I told you. I called it. You see that mermaid? The mermaid is a sign of someone waiting for you on the island. So there's a player hiding here. Be careful, yeah? Our items are marine merchant. This one here. If they keep chasing me, I'm just gonna sink them. But I'm showing you ways to avoid it. Luckily, this crew is not very capable. They are a merchant. Have fun, why not? Go to this. These are called sovereigns. They have a very nice harpoon on top. <laughs> no, they're not close enough. If you feel like fighting, there's not much to lose if you if you die. Oh, they ran away. <laughs> if you are new and someone is aggressively chasing you and they don't want to let go, I have a video called How to Stop Chasers. Be confident with your sails. Be confident with sailing. Accept that sinking and getting attacked is a part of Sea of Thieves. What were they trying to do? Be thieves. Be on the island. Steal the treasure that you're gonna get. Now there are no mermaids anymore. The best way to combat chasers is to fight. I'm showing brand new players how to play the game. A brand new solo player is telling him to fight a galleon is the biggest mistake. It's the completely wrong thing to do. Once you have time to fight, you can't say like, uh, oh, I don't care who he is, you know, I'll knock him off. No, if he's twice my size and he's... he's uh, is like like a black belt or something. Just putting the difference between an experienced galleon and a new solo sloopers. Heck no, I'm not gonna fight him. Because knowing the enemy is winning half the battle. Just remember the cloth. We, we don't want it to, to get wet. We have one. And now we got close. You can... No, 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 no. Wrong. Sell it fast before it gets wet. Still luxurious. Let's go, we're almost 15, that's all we need to reach. We go like this. Ancient Spire Outpost, Shelly. 
ship right. And by the way, if you did not know, if you're in an outpost and you want to know where the shipwright is, you look at this post. Where is it? This one. You see? Inspect. Cargo runs. Where do these go? Galleon's Grave Outpost. Back to where we started. How nice is that? Gonna be level 15 now. The same place we started. And we are level 15. Zero cost. We reached level 15 in in Merchant Alliance without paying a cent. Not one gold. Nothing. Zero. The least downtime you stay away from your ship is doing merchant. Cargo ones. You're like an Uber Eats. Drop, deliver, drop, deliver. Here, here, here. Done. Five orders. You get your tip. We may, We started exactly at 10k. Now we have almost 40k. We made around 30,000 in two hours. It's gonna get more fun. There is something called emissary. It's gonna tell me you can't because you have to be level 15. You see this flag? Order of Souls emissary. You have to be level 15. This is why we reached level 15 in Merchant. See here? Purchase an emissary to present this trading company. Hey, hey, hey. We go to her. Any merchant. And then we buy first. Before you buy this, it's 20,000. Before you buy the merchant, you buy this only once. You go, you buy these ranks. Now look what happens. This is why we prevented buying these ranks at the ranks at level 5 and 10 and 15. Because once you buy this, voyages, even though it's 20, start costing money. Look what level 15 unlocked. This. Now this emissary flag Back to the sea, yeah? is the multiplier for your gold. It gives you a lot of gold when you sell. And here's the thing. What we're gonna do next What's up, Captain? is more Uber Eats. Open this. And go to the second one. Commodities. This is where you have, you can buy storage crates and supplies. Again, don't worry about that. Second tab, this. You see this? These are called commodities. You're basically a real merchant right now. You're buying from one outpost at a cheap price, selling at another at a high price. The most thing they have here is crate of unrefined spices. But why can't I buy it? Because you have to be a merchant emissary to buy these. This is why we bought the emissary flag. Vote on the table and now you have become a real merchant. Anything merchant you touch or sell levels this up. The higher it is, the higher the multiplier. However, this is high risk, high reward. There's a higher chance for people to sink you like this. But see if Thieves is not fun without sinking. I'm not saying you will. Now we're gonna buy the cheap ones. Unrefined spices. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One thousand five hundred is gonna cost us. We have ten unrefined spices. Before you pick them up, you see this book. You open it and you check who has sought after unrefined spices. Sanctuary outpost. Which means the surplus that they have here, unrefined spices, will be sold at a much higher price in Sanctuary Outpost. Now we finished phase one of Merchant, which is five cargo run voyages at zero cost to level 15. Sanctuary is in the shores of plenty. Sanctuary Outpost is right here. Things got easier, not harder. Because now we don't have sensitive or this side up fragile cargo runs that we're dealing with. These are just boxes. I have no collision of any sort. Now these 10, we're gonna sell. How much did we buy it for? 150. Now you can sell these anywhere, but this is where they pay the most. How much is this? 752. Remember, if you drop your emissary flag, which you can vote on table, you can't do this anymore. Rate of broken stone. I didn't even know there was something called broken stone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Broken stone, galleon's grave. We're going back to the outpost we were in. They want broken stone there. Our business is done. 
Okay. 900 and nice. Look, 1,500 per, per one. So I sold four stacks of commodities by setting a route between outposts based on my destination. It's like dropping something on the way. You can check the books, see where you're heading on the map and sell on your way. Additionally, collected a few higher level cargo runs since some routes were already on my destination. Feel free to vote for one, as this way you can complete a commodity shipment and deliver a cargo run that may be on your way to your next destination, doubling the rewards you achieve in the same trip. We are level 5 in our goal in our merchant emissary. Everything you sell with this emissary flag up counts towards emissary ledger rewards. We are right now on phase 3. Okay. Unrival emissary merchants. See how many commendations we unlocked? Now, phase 1 was reaching level 15 so we can get our emissary flag. Phase 2 was getting our emissary flag level 5. Phase 3 is going to the merchant once you reach level 5 in emissary and that works for every flag. And then you claim the emissary quest. Once you do that, what do you get? You get 20 cargo crates to collect. This is your big reward for being good. Uh, do you want an alliance, boys? And this is why not. If someone asks for alliance, especially in the beginning, why not? Because they're doing merchants, so I'll level up merchant fa faster. And this is an opportunity. They're doing merchant, you're doing merchant. You go up to the flag, you click on this thing. Now, Everything you sell, they get extra 50%. It doesn't take away from yours. Everything you, uh, they sell, you get 50%. And 10. And now... Alderic at Steven's Spoils. So we sold all 10 here. And we leveled up a lot. Now, if you look at the Emissary Ledger, these are faction-specific cosmetics that you receive at the end of each month. If you reach the value before the end of the month as they are not time limited, but more like a ladder system. We're getting close to this one. We'll see now if we sell the side next one. We're gonna get here, you know. So guys, these 20 cargo runs we got are all... We are above 100k. Yes, we are in alliance, but that definitely the alliance didn't give us 27k. And now... At 15, you unlock this. At 25, you unlock... You see these? Right? They're still the same voyages. When you unlock level 25... What happens? You unlock... Lost shipments. But lost shipments I'm not gonna do because... I made a whole video about it that I will link. Now, what I can do is not look like a new player anymore. I can buy this for a commendation. This merchant educated pirate that actually looks nice. And we made more than 100k. This outfit is not cheap. We bought it for 65,000. And we still have 50,000 left. On the first day of sailing, casual, low key, never attacked, even though it's possible. Now, this took us, let's say, around four hours. We, we kind of slowed down, talked, everything. It took us four hours. Let's say five hours. And by the way, phase one, phase two, phase three. You can do these in separate sessions, that's the thing. And guess what? We also got these sales. Now, after eight days, when these rewards are finished, you will find these sales in your inventory. Of course, we are stopping here, but if you do lost shipment voyages, which is the highest tier of uh, uh, merchant voyages, don't forget, most important, you can go to the table and treat yourself with downvoting the flag at level 5. And you just made an extra 6,000. I hope this video helped you out. 
I hope you subscribe so you can stay tuned for more tips and tricks. <laughs>